Hello everyone, I am Chirag Sharma, currently pursuing MTED Integrated Course from International Institute of Professional Studies, DAVV in law. Today in this video lecture, we are going to discuss topic called JDBC Statements, that is Java Database Connectivity Statements, which is guided by Dr. Nitin Nagar sir. So let's get started. In this video presentation, these are the topics we are going to cover. Now, firstly, I will give you a brief description of JDBC statements. Then we will move on prepared statement and callable statement. Further, we will see comparison between statement and prepared statement. And lastly, we will see practical implementation of the statement. So what is JDBC statements? A JDBC statement defines the methods and properties that enable you to send SQL commands and receive data from your database. JDBC statement use this for general purpose access to your database. It is useful when you are using a SQL statement at runtime. The statement interface cannot accept the parameters. This is the basic syntax of a statement. How we can declare a syntax, how we can declare a statement in a program. On moving further, we will see uh, statements method, method to execute statement. First is boolean execute string SQL. It will return a boolean value of what true if a result set object can be retrieved. Otherwise, it returns false. Another method is int execute update string SQL. Returns the number of rows affected by our execution of SQL statement. And the last one is result set execute query string SQL returns the result set object. On moving to our next part of presentation that is prepared statement, uh, we will see what is prepared statement. The prepared statement interface extends the statement interface which gives you added functionality with a couple of advantage over a generic statement object. So it is use this when you plan to use the SQL statement many times. Uh, the prepared statement interface accepts input parameter at runtime, while the statement does not accept the parameters at runtime. Then basically, there are two methods in prepared statement that is public void set string in which two parameter pass, one of is integer type and second of is string type. Another method is public void set in in which both the parameters are integer type. So this is the basic syntax of a prepared statement and how we can declare a prepared statement in a program. Moving further to our next topic that is callable statements. We will see what is callable statement. It is an interface in JDBC API which is used to call the stored procedures from the Java code. Callable statement extends prepared statements which in turn extends statements. Now we will see what is stored procedures. Stored procedures is a set of SQL statements to be executed to perform a specific task on a database. Stored procedures are pre-compiled and stored in database. Now we will see types of parameters in parameter. In parameter is a parameter whose value is unknown when the SQL statement is created. Now next is out parameter. Out parameter whose value is supplied by SQL statement, it returns. In out parameter is parameter in which the parameter that provides both input and output values. So moving further. So these are the basic difference between statement and prepared statement. Statement is used when SQL query is to be executed only once, while the prepared statement is used when SQL query is to be executed multiple times. You cannot pass parameters at runtime in statement, but you can pass parameters at runtime in prepared statement. Uh, statement used for DLL statements like create, alter, drop, etc. While the prepared statement used for the queries which are to be executed multiple times. Performance of a statement is very low, while the performance of prepared statement is better than the statement. Statement is a base interface, while the prepared statement extends statement interface. So these all are the basic difference between prepared statements and statements. So we are moving to our next important part of our presentation that is to see the practical implementation of the programs.
this is the example of jdbc statement uh, this project will give, will give output uh, as sum of three numbers in which two numbers are uh, entered by the user and the third number will be fetched from the database so i have uh, already created a table named uh, numbers and i am currently using iss database so let's see our code so uh, in the html form uh, i have created a form uh, whose action is to add and uh, these are the two numbers and three which will be entered by the user and uh, there is a submit button uh, when the user clicks the submit button the form will redirect to the main.java file this is the xml file in which the uh, name of the server it is abc and the url pattern is add so this is our main.java file in which uh, num1 and num2 are entered by the user and i have initialized num3 as 0 currently uh, print writer this line is used to if uh, want, if we want to print something over the browser class for name this line is used for driver class connection this line will set up the connection with our database uh, ish is the database i am using currently root is my username and after that you have to provide your password uh, statement this line is used to create the statement which will be used for calling the query to execute the query so here we are executing the query that is uh, select num3 from numbers where id is equals to num1 uh, it means that uh, if the user entered uh, 2 then 2 will be the id for num3 that is if the user entered 2 as num1 then the id will be num3 and the num 3s id will be 2 so num3 will be 4 if the user entered 6 so so the id for the num3 will be 6 and the num3 will be 12 so we can execute this code so this is our uh, front end in which i am suppose entering 4 and uh, here I am entering 1 so 4 plus 5 and uh, in the database we have 4 uh, four's id will be 8 so 4 plus 1 plus 8 the expected output will be 13 so here we are getting the, our desired output as uh, num3 is based from the database as, as 8 as uh, num1 we entered is 4 and uh, so according to 4 the num3 will be 8 so we are getting our uh, desired output so this was the first example of the statement now moving to our second example this is the example of prepared statement in this project i am performing two tasks First is to insert image and image name into a database and second task is to fetch the image with the help of image name from the database. For this I have created two forms. First form will enter the image and image name into the database and second form will help you to fetch the, data, uh, fetch the image from the database and there are two more files uh, first is image server.java and another is image fetch.serverlet.java so image server.java will do all the things uh, to insert uh, the image and image name into a database and image fetch serverlet uh, will fetch the image from the database now we can uh, run this program So this is our web HTML page. In this, I will give a name to the image as uh, Taj Mahal. Then I will choose a Taj Mahal photo from the local disk. On clicking to submit button, a message will be show that image added successfully. It means that the image is successfully added to the database. Uh, now I can face the uh, entered image. Uh, 
from the database uh, with the help of the image name as our image name is the uh, Taj Mahal on clicking the view button we will get the desired image that is of Taj Mahal so this is all about our JDBC statements thank you so much for watching this video hope you all liked it thank you